play there. Welcome back to the Tom Roberts Golf Channel. Today we have our, well, it's gonna be our hardest challenge ever, I think. We are playing the hardest course in the UK. We are here at the National Golf Centre, Woodhall Spa, the home of England Golf. Big shout out to England Golf for getting me on today. We are playing the Hotchkins course and it is an absolute devil. It is so, so, so difficult to the point where my 9.7 index is actually going to be playing as a 13 handicap today. So we're gonna have a workout. If we can get anywhere near our handicap, it will be a miracle. But we're gonna see what we can do. Let's get onto our second shot. All right, 150 yards in here, got a seven iron because the pin is at the front. Oh, I've lost it right. There is a big bunker there. Get over it. Oh, we're over. Yeah, that was a big push. A very big push. Got 34 yards to pin here on the next tee box. Good job no one is here. We're on and we're putting. Take it. Pretty much a gimme. All right, for a bogey. Happy days, right, one over through one. I'm just gonna say this now, guys. If you watch to the end of this video, you are going to be rewarded because it is the most mental round of golf I've ever played. So you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what happens. Next up, we've got a 399 yard par four and it's SI7. Guys, it's hella windy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, wind is kind of behind, slightly off the left, so. I'll play straight down the middle. Yeah, I should have gone a long way, I think. Hopefully. I got 142 to the pin, guys. It's at the back. I'm going to take a pitching wedge because this wind is like, I'm not joking. I think they're probably like 30 to 40 miles an hour at the moment. The pin is like bent double and I can see that from here. Might want some wind on that one. Bounce, bounce, bounce. All right, we're on and we are rolling. Okay, guys, we've got a 36 footer here. Um, I'm going to have to say that I can't fly the drone today. It is just way too windy. Apologies for that. So I will use drone footage from a previous round that I played here, but I just cannot, I cannot fly it in these weathers, in this wind. It's just way too strong. That is going to be horrendously short. I've lost my mind. Now I know it turns right, but the wind is blowing so hard left. I think it might actually turn left. I don't know. Oh, no, stop. Oh my God, it almost missed. All right, that's another bogey. Um, I'm not gonna call that a three putt though, because we actually putted from the fringe. So we're currently still on two putts only. Let's see how long we can keep that going for. Hole three is one of the signature holes here with that wonderful building in the backdrop. It is a 406 yard par four and it's SI3. Oh, that's a bit left, isn't it? Should be okay. Yeah? Bit in the heather, but it'll be okay. All right, we might be in the heather, guys, for the first time today. We are so downwind that there's a chance that an eight iron can go like 200 yards. I don't think it will, but if I do hit eight iron, I've got more loft and there's an opportunity for like an easy layup. That has come out very left. I think that might have gone straight in a bunker. Uh-oh. All right, guys, I think Realistically, today's goal is actually to shoot 90. If we break 90, we've done really well. I've left myself with a horrible 70 yard bunker shot. Um, so just gonna, gonna open it up and just go for it, really. Sit! I've caught it too clean. That's out of bounds, Tom. It's out of bounds. Gotta reload. Throw me another ball, will you? Oh my God, I'm in so much trouble. Okay, got about 50 yards now. Oh my God. <laughs> oh dear, <That's> it. <laughs> I want the world to swallow me up. For those of you wondering where I am, I am a mile out the back of the green and I have about 80 yards to the pin, but I have an absolutely enormous tree in between me and the pin and I'm straight into wind. And I've batted it, so we're almost there. We're under the tree at least. Stop! 
It's all right. We might be able to make the putt. I am literally flabbergasted. Ah, oh, you couldn't even just stop me from getting double digits, could you? Oh, oh, what a killer. Okay, we've had a blow up early. I mean, we've got a whole round of golf to get through. Let's just reset our thinking and think about, can we do well from this point onwards rather than what's already happened? This course is ridiculous. There are bunkers absolutely everywhere. Next up, we have a 379 yard par four and it's SI 11. We're now into a ridiculous wind. It's like 150 yards to cover this like header. You got to hit a 200 shot to get it through it. So it's like playing like four and a half, five club win. No, not the duck hook. Just got to get this one out really. It's out. Oh, we're on the fairway, I think. We can't get to the green. <laughs> I'm going to hit a four iron. Hopefully this will just stay out of the wind. There we go, we've actually hit a decent golf shot. If that scampers into a bunker, there's like, I think that there's something like there's 150 odd bunkers on this course. Not only that, but they are deep and the sand is unbelievably soft. I don't want to make excuses, but we're going to have our work cut out today. Not to mention the fact that I played like absolute garbage for the last hole and a half. Guys, we've got some behind the scenes here. All three of us, me, Dan and Sam, who I'm playing with today, have hit it into this bunker. So you get to see a lovely little closest to the pin kind of action thing right now. Well out, Dan. Shot. No, oh, that is, oh, I just, I, I don't know if I can be bothered at this point. Maybe this video is never making it onto the internet because I'm now on the side of the hill in the heather. Yeah, that's a shot. Okay, Sam wins the closest to the pin, guys. All right, guys, we're hitting a hoping. Just hope this comes out onto the green, really. It's sitting in such a bad spot, though. Yeah, we're out. That's all I can hope for there. All right, we've got 33 foot here for, I think, a six. Go. Go. Ah! I'm gonna to have to do a new mission for the video every like hole because the old mission was immediately obliterated. Um, I guess our mission is to try and not three putt all round. Yeah, we three putted. God damn it. <laughs> all right, okay. The ball's moving. Okay. Yeah, no, that's another eight. Moving on to our first part three of the day. It is 138 yards and it is absolutely surrounded by the deepest bunkers you've ever seen. Wow. Okay. Easy, easy place to get up and down from over there, I've heard. Not gonna lie, we have not pulled the best lie here. We have the biggest tuft of grass, and then we're sitting in some cut gorse at the bottom. I'm not sure if I can get the, the club to ball here. Don't go in the bunker. You know what? It's got a good lie over there. Now sit there. Great shot. That might be my first good shot of the round, guys. Let's go. There's no excuses to be made. I've played garbage. I mean, the conditions are bad, but that's no excuse for what I've been doing out here so far. 12 over is a just score. Could be worse, but this is real golf. This is what you get on this channel. Yeah, it's kind of that kind of vibe of a day, isn't it, really? Um, oh dear. So we're currently through five holes and I have used up, well, I'm now one over my handicap already. I think anyone who's played any sort of like medal comps or anything at their local club will understand how deflating it is to be over your handicap in that many holes. Hole six is the hardest hole on the course. It's a 464 yard par four. Yes, a 460. There's, there, I've played Shorter par fives, guys, than this. It's mental. All right, okay, we're on a downwind hill here, guys, so. Stay out of the heather. No, we are well and truly in the heather with that one. Got 
kind of too far in to try and get there. Not a great lie either. Just going to hit pitching wedge to try and get this one moving down the fairway. No, not in the bunker. Go over it. Oh, I did. Just. I'm sure you guys all watching at home have had these days where it's just like nothing is clicking for you. Um, that's kind of the situation we're in right now. It does happen from time to time. I'm just going to, obviously the score doesn't matter at this point because we're having a stinker. I'm just going to try and enjoy playing this unbelievable golf course. It's actually in the top 70 golf courses in the entire world. And here I am stinking up the gap with this play, lol. Oh my God, I pulled it left again. How's that happened? We've got 53 yards in here to the pin. My God, this is actually ridiculous. Are you kidding me that I'm in a bunker? Oh my God, I want the floor to swallow me up, guys. Hey, hey, a GUR bunker, we're in luck. Hit that, sit there. All right, we are on the putting surface and that's all I can ask for at this point. I've left it so short. Oh, I can't believe that didn't drop. I'm, I can't believe that. All right, it's in. That hole's over. Hole number seven is the ninth hardest on the course. It is a par four dog leg to the right and it's 409 yards long. We're in severe danger of shooting like 125 here today. I think I might have found a fairway. Yep, I found a fairway. Come on. Right, okay guys, we've got 195 into this pin. Two bunkers protecting the front, so we really need to thread it if we want to end up on the green here. How has that come out so bloody right? When it is not your day, it's not your day. So if you guys wanted to get a handicap, you can actually get one without even being attached to a club. So usually club members have handicaps. You can actually get it through iGolf on the MyEG app. So if you want to check that out, you can find it in the app stores. <laughs> What's really cool about it is once you've actually got your handicap, it will calculate your stable for points as you're playing. So you can put you and then your mate as your playing partner. And then as you go around, it will actually just calculate your stable for points based on your handicap. They've also brought out a new feature, which is really, really cool. So as you go through a hole, you can put like, whether you hit the fairway, how many putts you took, and then you can keep a track of it that way. So everything you need is in just one app. And then once your round's done, they'll give you like an analysis of where you're kind of playing and like where you're losing strokes and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Now, sadly, we found another bunker. Got to get this one up and onto the green, don't we? That's really good. That might be my shot of the day, guys, so far. <laughs> These greens run so pure. They're not like super, super fast like the Belfry, but they just roll so good. We've got a nine footer here for par. Oh my God, it missed low. No way. I thought we got our first par of the round. All right, you know what? We'll take a bogey because realistically, it's not a double, triple, quad or six tuple bo bogey. Like, we'll take it. Hole eight, a challenging par three. It is SI 13 and it's 184 yards long. Par three, 185 yards to the pin. Come round. Now that's that big bunker there, isn't it? I'm in another bunker. Oh my God, make it stop. You look forward to rounds where you come and play a really nice course and then the occasion just swallows you up. <laughs> Spits you out. <laughs> this is outrageous, but I'm still having a good time. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This bunker that I'm in, it's twice the height of me. So it's like 13 foot high. If you got the joke, you're a legend. Um, there's also a bunker out the back as well. So there's not a lot of sand. It's quite hard. It's quite compact. Yeah, watch out. Got it fat and it's gone or thin and it's gone miles out the back. Got kind of lucky. I haven't drawn the worst lie here. That's it. Big greens, oh my God. You know what, that's actually a really good roll. Line was awful, but... We're in for a double, here's what it is. Finishing off the front nine with a par five, it is the fifth hardest on the course and it's 545 yards long. All right, we've got a par five in driver here. Oh, in the heather. 
Good. My round just couldn't get any worse. Yeah, well, we're moving. That's all I can say about that one. I'm gonna take four iron, just try and swing it nice and smooth. And that has gone straight right. Even when I make good contact, it ends in disaster because I'm in a bunker now. What I can promise you guys is that I will endeavor to get better at this game. I'm having a lesson later today and I feel like big swing changes are probably in order. I don't think my swing is in a particularly good spot and hasn't been for a while. I've just been getting away with stuff for a long time now and it's overdue that I get punished and today is that day. It's not in the bunker, but we're not in a great position. I need this to go up and over this lip. So I need to angle myself like the slope and try and keep my, okay. I think it's gonna come out really left though. Yeah, it's come out really left. Got eyes on it, Dan. It's good. Oh, it's right next to the hole. Something good has happened. All right, that's probably my shot of the round, guys. From down there, we've managed to stick it to about eight foot. Yes, oh. come on. Points on the board right at the last. How you feel finding it, Dan? It's windy, mate. It is windy. windy. He's just made a birdie. <laughs> Outrageous. We have rounded the turn and we are on a 330 yard par four and it's SI 12. Currently we're 21 over. I think today we're gonna see our first 100 plus round. Um, I have six shots to play with if I want to actually come in at under 100. There's no way it's gonna happen, but we can always dream. I'm hitting everything so right. Please just clear it all. It's bouncing. We might be all right. It's a bit ropey though. Right, we've got 116 to the pin downwind. Coming out of the rough, this is not a pretty shot. The pin is literally tucked right behind that bunker, right at the front, so. That could be really good. Although it doesn't look like it's come out. How has that come out so dead? That's gone about 70 yards. <laughs> That's pretty good. Sit, 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 It's just rolling. Also, very cool, right next to an RAF base, we've had like typhoons and stuff flying over us all day long. The, the wind has literally stopped that dead. Oh my God, it just never ends. How have I double bogeyed this hole? I gotta stop free putting, I gotta stop sucking. Just all not very good at the moment. If you managed to stick with us until now, guys, you're about to be rewarded. We're onto a 404 yard par four and it's SI6. Stop turning. It's all right, strike. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I came and played here on a Bandits video a while back and I shot 96. And that's when I was playing off 21. So somehow I've got a lot worse. To be honest, I reckon the scores can really vary here. I'm gonna hit three wood again. I've got quite, a, pulled quite a nice lie just here in the rough, so. And it's like 200 yards playing like 260, so might as well. I've hit that as well as I can. Like I don't think I could have hit that any better, guys. Now this round is gonna be a stark contrast from next week, guys, because I am jetting off to Spain. We are playing around while we're out there in the beautiful sun. Should be nice and calm, no wind for a start, which is the main thing I really, really don't wanna to have to play in again. We've been through it a little bit recently, playing in some pretty adverse conditions on some pretty difficult courses, way above my skill level. So yeah, I'll be excited to try and have a bit of fun. And then we've got some beautiful content coming from Portugal the week after. Oh, it's just gonna be lush. Now that was a good three wood hit. We actually managed to get it to come hole high. I'm gonna try and bump it into the slope and just have it crest over. I paid that absolutely exactly how I saw it in my mind's eye. All right, there we go. We've made a par, we love to see it. Next up, we have the easiest hole on the course. It's a par three and it's 147 yards long. Now, we've got a par three here, 155 yards to the pin, but it's downwind. Got nine iron in hand. Oh, that's the best shot I've hit all day. B money. 
Money! All right, we are growing into this round. Like, we haven't had a stinker for a little while, so that's good. Uh, we've got 18 foot to this pin here. Turn. Oh! I actually birdied this hole last time I was here. I made 10 points through three holes, so I actually birdied this one. I parred the next one, and because I was playing off 21, it was like worth three points or something, maybe even four. So it's never over until, you know, you get into the clubhouse and you're drinking a beer. The second hardest hole on the course is a 430 yard par four that dog legs slightly to the right. Hit a little bit fat, it's not going to go a long way, but I mean, it's in the fairway, which is the main thing. It wasn't the worst shot in the world, it hasn't gone a long way. The main problem is, is that we've got 260 to the pin, playing like 330 is what Arcos is saying because of the wind. They're a nice set of bunkers, uh, like 100 yards short, so I'm going to hit a four iron, just lay up in the, uh, the fairway really. I wish I could just bottle that shot and just do it over and over again. I have a nasty feeling that I might have caught it too well and it's gone in one of those bunkers. This is a proud moment guys, I've laid up straight into a bunker, I've got about 80 yards to the pin. Oh, four! Sit! I think I'm putting. I've actually, I'm actually on the green. I caught it, but I think the wind's held it up and it just stopped it. I'm shouting four for a ball that I've actually managed to put pin high. <laughs> I, haven't got, I haven't got a clue what's going on with my golf game today. What's the opposite of dialed? Undialed. I am absolutely undialed. All right, we've got 21 foot here, down the hill. Pick a spot, commit, hit it to it. Slow down. Not a bad roll. All right, bogey on the second hardest hole. We'll take that all day long especially when it's into wind and playing like an extra 100 yards long. Oh, 14 is a par five at 455 yards long. It is pretty manageable and it is SI8. Absolutely crushed it. Could not have hit that any better. Yeah, absolutely smashed that. Got a fair old way in, uh, laying up here. Hopefully we're not laying up into a bunker this time. I'll do it. Yep, we're scooting up. Got about 75 yards into this pin now. I've hit it fat. That is so disappointing. Oh, actually, it's kind of worked. As I said, no idea where my golf game is because that is on the green. I'm not disappointed by it. Okay, we've got about 36 foot here. For a birdie, outrageously. That feels like a pretty good roll. I think I might be in for par. Another one. A par. Come on. We take them. Next up, we have a short par four. It's 314 yards long and it's SI 14. I would love to get out of here one birdie. That would make my entire day, guys, after all these grueling conditions. This is actually the hole that I made a birdie on last time I was here as well. So fingers crossed. That's such a good strike as well. I think my game started to come together. It's a shame it's come together so fucking late, but check out this pheasant. Look at the size of it. Hello. No, don't worry, I won't hurt you. All good. We have got 115 in here, downwind, 50 degree in hand. That could be quite good. I think that's really good. All right, a little unfortunate here, guys. I'm on a, I've literally, the ball has stopped short of the flag. It's rolling, obviously it's coming this way, but it's stopped on a downhill. If it had just kept on going, we'd have been laughing, but it is what it is. Um, we have got 21 foot for a birdie. There's a chance. Oh, stop now. Yes, come on, we make. Something that's more than like three foot away. Hole 16 is the fourth hardest on the course. It's a par four and it is 366 yard long. We got a big carry at the start to get over all the heather. I like that. Happy days. All right, I got 150 in here. I'm pretty sure as soon as it goes up above the trees though, it's gonna get knocked to the left. Just aiming for the center of the green really. 
Uh, it's gone off a little bit right. Just get lucky and don't get anything. Not really sure where that is. That might be in rough or something. Not ideal. Off to the side, off a down slope in a big chod of rough. That's worked really well. All right, cool. Chance of a par. Oh, what a save. All right. I don't want to say it, guys, but there's actually a chance of something happening that we talked about earlier, which I said would never happen. Hole number 17 is a par four. It's SI 15 and it's 317 yards long. Yeah, baby. Scoot, 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 scoot. <laughs> All right, we've got 90 yards to the pin here. That might be a little bit too much. Might have to sit, sit. No, it's good. Pin eye, chance for a birdie. Now I know this sounds stupid after the round I've just had, guys. Believe me, I know. But I'm gonna be doing a video this week as a bonus, not a course vlog, a tips video on how I managed to get my handicap to go from 18, 19, down to about nine, so single digits in six months. But don't worry, I'm gonna legitimize that video by having one of the England golf trainers on the channel with me. But I've had loads of comments about it, so I thought this was the best way to kind of show you guys. Gotta just imagine this one dropping in. I'd love a birdie right now. There's a chance. Get in! I am a happy man. I am leaving Woodall Spa with a flipping birdie on 17. Come on. What a back nine we've had here. We are on to the final hole, which is a par five. It's SI 10 and it's 484 yards long. I'm stepping off. Just thinking about shanking it. Love that. I'm so glad I stepped off, guys. It's a big deal for me because I very rarely do that. Usually I just swing anyway. Got a long way in here, guys. Uh, I think three wood for me, even though I've got a really nice lie here. Could end up in the second bunker on the left. So I'm just going to hit a smooth four iron. Yeah, that'll play perfectly. Straight over the top of the bunker. Yes! Yes! All right, guys, it's time. I want to know your ratings for the round. We've got four categories. We've got off the tee, we've got approach, we've got short game, and we've got putting. Now, usually I'd say do this over the whole 18. Today, I want you to rate it from the front nine and the back nine. And if you're really into it, you can give me a combined score for the full 18 as well. If you've managed to stay until this point of the video, you are one of the real ones. I'm not gonna lie because that was a bloodbath of a front nine, but I've gotta say, the back nine is shaping up to potentially be one of my best back nines ever. Which is crazy to say, considering the start we had. I'll tell you what my scores were on each end of the course when we finish this hole. All right, we've got 92 yards here. It's hit a bit fat, but it might work. Go. We're on and we're putting, guys. Now, I think it was when we just rounded the turn, I said it would be impossible for me to break 100 because I was already 21 over par. Par for the course is 72. So I only had like six shots to play with. And then I double bogey 10. But from 10, I'm now level par. So 11 through 17, I've actually shot level par, one bogey, one birdie. And without like five jab in here, we have broken 100. And I might even break my previous score of 96, which I didn't also think was possible. It just goes to show you've really got to keep on grinding because you just never know when your round is going to get started. And I have been probably, I've probably had the best eight holes of my entire golfing career through this back nine, which is crazy to say. So if you did manage to stick around, yeah, you got the goods. You got the goods today. All right, we got 27 foot for a birdie here. And there's a chance it goes in. Oh, I broke it last second, but it's gonna be a tap in for a par. There we go, guys. Which means we've shot 23 over through 18, which is a 95 on the scorecard. But when I actually put it into the MyEG app, because of all the blobs I had, I actually get a reduction of like five shots. So we actually shot 90. 
A big shout out to England Golf for having me. Of course, go check out their app. It's a really good tool for tracking your rounds and all of that sort of stuff, and also getting yourself a handicap, which you don't need to be a member of a club for. If you'd like to see another video from me, well then you just gotta click right here.